Hi, I'm Troy and you're watching TroyTube. In this video, we're going to add a light box to our website. Now, what is a light box, you might ask? A light box uh, opens up images and video in um, kind of a, a pop-up box that kind of dims the rest of your site or makes it stand out a little bit better. Normally, when you insert images and media in WordPress by default, at the you know, basic form uh, of the platform. Um, when you click on an image, it just opens the image in the browser as a direct link as a view, and then you have to hit the back button to get back. A light box will make this open up into a nice, uh, almost like I said, a, a pop-up box that, that is viewable. You know, you can have galleries and slideshows and page through them a lot easier. It's a lot more aesthetically pleasing. It's very simple to do. Got a great plug-in from that, so I'll switch over to the computer and we'll get started. So we'll create a new page and we'll call it light box example. And we're going to add some media to this page and I've already uploaded a couple of photos. So we'll insert those photos into the page and we'll click publish and then we'll view the page and if you notice there is just a thumbnail of the images inserted they are not hyperlinked I can't click on them or do anything with those images by default so we'll go back to the page and we will click on one of the images and click edit and if we click link to we can select media file and it's going to show us the the direct URL to that image and so I'll do the same thing to this image select media file and then we'll click update and if we go back to the page and refresh now we can click that image and you notice it opens in a nice viewer with a close button and a forward and back button so that I can scroll through the images now what's so special about that you might say Without the plug-in, it doesn't work that way. It's not as smooth, it's not as aesthetically pleasing. And I'll show you what I mean by this. I'll go back to the plugins and I'll disable the Lightbox plugin. And then we'll go back and refresh our page. And when we click on it, you notice it just opens in the browser with the direct URL link uh, with no close button and no slider. So in order for me to get back to the page and view the next photo, I have to click on uh, back in the browser and then click on the next image. Uh, so it's not uh, very user friendly by default uh, with WordPress out of the box, uh, but this plugin makes that a little bit nicer and a little bit easier. And it's a great way to add, uh, you know, just more aesthetically pleasing navigation to your site as far as being able to view images and have those open up into a, uh, you know, what appears to be a viewer more so than just opening a new browser page. Now we'll go back and look at some of the settings and change some of the effects and different views to give you an idea of the versatility of the plugin. And one of the things we'll do, we'll look at the light box style and we'll choose a different style. Let's just go down to number five and see what it looks like and we'll save it. And when we go back and refresh our page, when we click on the image, you'll see that it is uh, left justified. It looks like is the difference with that one. And let's go back to number three. We'll save it and just go back and refresh our page. And you see a light background with the close button directly over top of the image without navigation arrows, it looks like. And let's try style number two. We're just going to select some random styles and see what they uh, change about the plugin. And you see this one looks like it dims the background so it pops up and you have navigation bars down at the bottom rather than on the ends and then when you click anywhere off to the side of the image it closed we'll try number four sorry for doing them out of order I just wanted to select some random options and uh, see what the uh, effects were that it was going to provide to us And this one looks like it dims as well with the close box and the left and right navigation arrows. So that's a really nice appearance there. So you know you're still on the website. Uh, it's dimmed to the background, like I said. And then uh, if you click the X or click off to the side. Uh, so let's try one more. Let's go with number six. And 
and that uh, just provides us with a different orientation it looks like with a light background and so let's go back to number two and then let's select a couple of different things here let's go with uh, show border and let's try an, an image frame and we can preview by hovering over the frame and then we'll also do the full screen effect and we'll select uh, let's go with rotate as the open and close effect and save that we'll go back and refresh our page and oh you see now that we have a frame around our image and you also saw it uh, uh, rotate into the frame uh, to open up the image as well so not the slickest there with that combination but you get the idea of what you can do uh, and there are the sliders uh, so there are some different effects. Uh, you may mix and match those to get some different results, a little better results than what I showed there. Uh, let's try frame number three. It looks like that's a solid uh, mint green frame. So we'll see what that one looks like. Yeah, it pr pr provides a nice opaque uh, green frame around the images. So as you can see, you have a bunch of different options here on how you want to display your images and your uh, photos and media with uh, the light box. Uh, so uh, that is a, a really, really nice effect there. So that's a real quick and easy way to make your images easier to access, easier to view, and easier to browse for, uh, for a user. And we'll probably explore some of the other plugins from Huge IT uh, in future videos because they, they do have some nice plugins. They have some great features if you pay for, to go to the pro versions, but the free versions work great as well. That's one of the great things about a lot of WordPress plugins is that for free you get a lot of functionality out of the box uh, and then uh, you know you almost feel compelled to buy the licensed versions just to support the developers uh, and, and they do a great job with this so again huge IT light box uh, you can go to their website at hugeit.com and download it and install it and be up and running with a light box to display your media images in WordPress in just a few minutes if you have any questions or comments, post them down below the video.